Yo, what's up, YouTube? I'm DJ Philly, and welcome to Master Crafters. Today, we're actually going to be showing you how to import behavior and resource packs into a Minecraft bedrock. Now, if you don't know what behavior and resource packs or what the difference are between them, if we go over here into the global resources of the games or into storage, you can actually see that we have resource packs, and I actually have a bunch of them. And then we also have a thing called behavior packs. Now, behavior packs change the way the game acts, so if you want a pig to blow up, you can do it in a behavior pack. And then in the resource packs, you can actually change the textures of the game for different things like that. And that is also what RTX uses to get the textures that you can use for Minecraft RTX. But today we're going to be looking how to import both the resource packs and the behavior packs into the game. So let's get started. So the first step of inputting your behavior and resource packs are to actually have them ready wherever you have them. So I have mine in the downloads folder, but you can actually have them wherever. Now I have three different types of files today and we will be importing all three of them. There are different formats and ways to actually import them. And if you don't have behavior resource packs, I'm actually using a couple from Foxy No Tail. He actually makes some amazing add-ons which is also another word for behavior packs and resource packs as well and i will link his website in the description below because he is an awesome minecraft bedrock content creator so first up if you have a file that ends in mc pack and if you do not actually see the file name what you actually want to go over here to the view option if you're on Windows 11, on Windows 10, it's going to be very similar. And you want to actually click File Name Extension. That way you can actually see your file name extension. And if you do not see the extension, you can also see that it has a Minecraft logo on it. If you have this type of file, what we can do is import it by left-clicking it twice, and it will open up Minecraft Bedrock for you. It's actually the simplest way of importing a behavior or resource pack because it does all of the jazz of trying to import it for you, and it is a pretty awesome method. Now, once Minecraft fully loads, you can see that the import has started, and it will give you a notification when it is successfully imported, and we can actually check this by going into the settings here and then go over to the storage. And I do believe we actually just imported a resource pack. Okay, so I found the resource pack that we just implemented into the game through my mess of resource packs. But what you can do now is that with resource packs, you can either go into global resources and then to my packs, and it should show up in the list here. What you can do is activate it. Now in global resources, this is for resource packs only. But if it is activated through global resources, then it will show up in every world that you join. So if I were to actually go into one world here, it will show up in this world. And if you want to show it up in this world, you can do that through the global resources. Another way that you can actually implement resource packs, and this is also the way to turn on behavior packs for your world, is to go over to your world settings once you have a world. And then scroll down over here to the resource packs. And what I can do here is I can activate a resource pack. I already have the Philly resource pack that I was testing, but we actually have the resource pack that we just implemented here and we can go and activate it. Now, if we activate it here through the world itself, it will only show up in this world. So that is what the difference between turning them on in a world versus turning them on in global resources. And through the world settings, this is also how you turn on behavior packs. So I have a sample behavior pack here of the armor stands uh, add-on by Foxy Nowtail. If I activate it here, it will actually turn off achievements, unfortunately, because behavior packs do that. But we can see that it is active in the world. And if we go into the world, we can actually use the behavior pack. So hopefully that covers everything. If you are new to behavior and resource packs, how to turn them on and how to use them in your world. But if you have a different file, including a zip file or just a regular folder, you're going to need something different. So next up, we're going to be using the zip file. What you're going to do is right click the zip file because we will need to extract it all. Now I will just be extracting it here in the same folder that I've used. So we can just press the button 
And as you can see, it extracted the folder here. So we can see the folder and we can right click it. Now we have access to the MC add-on. Now, if you do not see an MC add-on, I know some content creators do not actually use the MC add-on file format. You might actually see a, um, a file like this. This is actually a folder and you might actually see that in the zip file. Now, this is the secondary alternative method of putting a behavior or resource pack into the game, and it, it does take a little more time. So if you do have a folder, what you're going to need to do is actually go over to the Windows button here. It may look different for Windows 10, but you're going to right click it and then press run. And what you're going to put into the run application is the percent sign, app data, and then percent sign. Now this will open up a different file explorer with your files in it. And it should show up something like this. So now that we have the app data folder up and running, next we'll need to go over to the view option here. Like I said, it should be very similar in Windows 10, but we want to go over to show and then click the hidden items tab. This will be very useful when finding hidden items within these folders. Next, you want to click on local. And then you actually want to scroll all the way down until you see a folder called packages. You want to click this folder here. And then we will see a bunch of mess that Windows has in all of its apps. Now, next, we want to scroll down a little bit until we find a file called Microsoft.MinecraftUWP. And you can also use the search bar to look for this file. This is where Minecraft actually stores all of its files. We want to left click here. And then we want to go into the local state file of the game and then go into the game's folder, com.mojane. And here we can see all of the packs and files that we can change within the game, including the behavior packs, the resource packs, your worlds, and the development and development resource and behavior packs. The next step here is we actually want to minimize this window here so that we can see our other files. So we have minimized the game files here and we could see our resource pack that we are implementing into the game. Now, this is marked as a resource pack, the one we are actually implementing. Most content creators will tell you if it is a behavior pack or a resource pack because those will be placed in two different files. Next, we want to actually hold this and then move it over into the resource packs. And like I said, if you have a behavior pack, you will want to put it into this folder. But since ours is a resource pack, we'll be placing it in here. And it may take some time because it does have some files that it needs to implement into the game. Okay, so my pack is finally finished uploading into the resource packs folder. And we can scroll down here and yep, it is actually implemented into the game. Now you do want to have your game off for this. You will need to restart the game if you actually have it turned on like I do right now just so that it can read your behavior pack or resource pack the next time that it opens. Now, if you are implementing more than one resource or behavior packs at a time, or if you do it over time, then what I would recommend is going back out to the com.mojane folder file, left click and then right click it. And then what you want to do is pin to quick access. This will actually pin it right here so that you don't have to go through all of those folders. You can actually quick access it here and then get back into your files of the game. Now, hopefully this tutorial was useful for you for implementing a behavior or resource pack for your first time or if you forgot how to. And I do have a quick tip here. If the MC pack file is not working for you, what you need to do is right click it and then rename the file here. And you will need file name extensions on. But what we're going to do is replace MC pack with zip. I can spell it right. There we go. Now it will come up with a warning and you will just want to click yes because it is changing the file type. But basically a MC pack file is just a zip file for Minecraft Bedrock. So if we were to actually extract this file here through the extract all button. There we go. Now we actually have the folder, which we can use for the previous step in our tutorial to implement it into the game. 
through going through all of the game files and placing it in the correct folder file. There we go, guys. That's how to put a behavior or resource pack into the game. And like I said, you can either do it through the settings options, through global resources, or you can do it specifically within a world file through going to the play button and then going into world settings. And that is where you can also turn on behavior packs as well. And just another quick tip here for you guys who want to delete resource or behavior packs or just want to change things up. We can actually go to settings here and then go down into the storage option and it will show you your behavior packs and resource packs as well. And this is where we can actually delete them through the delete button here. But there we go, guys. We got our tutorial out and ready for you. Just an updated one from our previous one, how to implement behavior and texture packs into the game. So hopefully you do like it. And maybe consider subscribing because that does help out the channel a lot. But anyway, we'll see you guys later and have a great rest of your day. Woohoo!